You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Areas you got to be digging in with your plumbing business is hiring. Yeah. As you heard me say, and, and Ryan, you know, I'm all about always, always, always recruiting. Mm-hmm. And, and, never and so, stop. So as we're recruiting, okay, let me pick your brain here a little bit. I, I know you got all the answers, but keep it simple for me, man, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, don't go right. too deep on You're me, all right? You're just a plumber, right? All right, I'm just, I'm just a plumber. I'm a master plumber. <laughs> That's true. W- true which dad. means I can multiply, not just add, okay? <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> all right. What's, um, what, what are applicants overall looking for, plum, you know, plumber applicants? What, what, are, what do you say is like the, the main thing they're looking for when they're in another a new plumbing business, the company that they're looking at. I'm going to be honest with you. They're probably looking for something different. And that's probably, if you take one thing away, um, most business owners mess up because they focus on what are our competitors doing and they copy them. And and when you do that, if, if there's a bad habit in the industry, you just sucked it up, right? And while you might think that means that you're keeping up, when you go to try and steal your competitors' talent away, like they want something different. Um, that, that's where you start. Like, what do they want? They want something different. Maybe it's better training. Maybe it's a better mentor. I can tell you, I got an ad right here in front of me. Best example of where we go wrong. Down here in the benefits, it says 12 unpaid vacation days yearly and 12 unpaid sick days yearly. Mm-hmm. Those 12 numbers are really big. You get 24 days off. Holy crap, that's awesome. Unpaid. <laughs> unpaid. Right. Unpaid. Now, as entrepreneurs, we mess up because we're like, somebody comes to you and says, hey, I want paid time off. And you're like, hell yeah, me too. I never uh-huh. get paid time off. I'm working all the freaking time. Right. These guys are not entrepreneurs. They're your employees. You're an entrepreneur. You're the one that gets the surf boat. Right. They're the ones that signed up to not start their own business. And this perfect, I just floated up while I was in the green room, pulled up a job out. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Mm. What and, and their competitors are probably like, dude, we'll let you not come to work and not pay you for 14 days. Right. You know, <laughs> they want to get paid not to work. That right. is how it works. If I'm sick, I still have to pay the power bill. And so if you look at what do they want, they want something different. And the easiest way to do that, go look at Indeed or Glassdoor and read the negative reviews about your competitors. It will tell you exactly what they want. Most likely, it's their training sucks. It was a giant mess. I didn't know what was expected. They didn't take care of me. Mm. And as entrepreneurs were like, we're not signing up to take care of you. Yeah, that's what we're signing up to do. Right. Unless you want to create entrepreneurs. If you treat your entrepreneurs, you're going to create entrepreneurs out of them. Mm-hmm. Right. And I like it. You kind of you touched on it. This, this is one of the biggest things we see mm-hmm. um, where, that these guys aren't us. So the, the example, I, I'm willing to work unpaid. Mm-hmm. I'll go above and beyond unpaid. <laughs> I'll do, I'll figure things out on my own. Mm-hmm. I'll do that stuff. Right. I don't, you know, and we kind of, we, we think that our guys will do the same, the same kind of a thing and they don't. Nope. They, they don't. They They're do not. not. Well, but here's the biggest thing though, is if, if you actually stopped and did the math, right? Let's say, let's say that you're paying somebody 60,000 bucks a year. And 24 days is outrageous. You don't need to give 24 days off. No. Yeah, like boy. you're actually amplifying the number of days because they're not paying for it. But if yeah. you just said, let's just pay for like 15 days, right? And you compare 120 to 2080, right? You're talking yep. about just like 5% increase in pay, a 5% increase. So if you're paying 60 grand a year, we're talking about an extra 3,000 bucks. That's right. it, 3,000 bucks offers 15 days of paid vacation a year. Right. It would blow all your competitors out of the water. They wouldn't follow you because they think you're back crazy, right? They're like, who, who's this guy? He's gonna give his people 15 days paid a year. Yeah, because it's 3,000 bucks. Like, it's three grand. This is nothing right. compared to the six grand you're paying them. Compared right. to how much time you spend trying to attract the best people, take care of them. They want some freaking PTO. Give them some PTO. Right. That doesn't right. make them. You know what they want to do? They want to go to the lake mm-hmm. and get paid for it. That's right. So they want to, <laughs> right. They, right. they want to know if they get sick, they won't have to choose to not pay the power bill that month. Right. right. 
That's all they're asking for. Just exactly. hook them up. Right. Hook them up. And, and right. And I'm asking my, I know, I know I got some of my clients on here. Who pays for that? Who pays for that? Who pays for Your that? Clients. Exactly. Right. Right. Hey, take it yeah, I, short. Yeah. When, when you're in a business where you charge per hour, I think it makes it a little more difficult to, to think about paying an employee not to work. Because you're so tuned to this, I charge per hour, and I know their hourly rate, and it's a cost of goods sold equation, right. and so PTO would be overhead, and I want to reduce overhead, et cetera, et cetera. But you got to think about this as a competitive edge. This is what makes you different than everybody, is the fact that nobody else can wrap their head around this extra little bit of time, or how to how to manage staffing levels when you have somebody who wants to take, take a week off to go and be with his family. But this is the difference between companies that retain great people and those that don't. Mm -hmm. Just think about this company right here, this whatever they are in Utah, right? Mm -hmm. There are no handcuffs on their employees. They're not walking away from PTO when they quit. Right. Mm -hmm. They're not walking away from those things. And so even that, that buildup of PTO is something they have to choose to leave. Hey, I've got a vacation plan, I'm getting a new job. Even if they give me PTO, it probably won't be for 90 days or 120 right. days. This is a something that sticks them to you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In fact, I have I have a personal mm -hmm. private example of this. I have a, a dear friend, now dear friends, and it's one of, one of my past employees, mm -hmm. and we became friends, and we talked. I mean, but he did it very well and kept the relationship se separate. But has up to four weeks vacation, and he doesn't like the company, my old company anymore. It's changed. He's never anywhere. He's, he's, I leave, he's, got, he's got his vacation and he's able to come and go and do what it's, and so he, they hook, even though he's, he's uncomfortable, he doesn't really enjoy who he's working around anymore or whatever, he's hooked, you know, they got him. I mean, yeah. You know, I think as an entrepreneur, yeah. we view things as a, we, we use money to buy the lifestyle we want, right? Like my mentor is like, I have to buy back dates. He's like, now that you've made a certain amount of money, it's time for you to spend that money to buy your freedom and time back. Yes. And that's how we think as entrepreneurs, right? As employees, you reach a certain level of income and you're like, holy crap, I'm making six figures. You know what I could buy? A boat. Too bad I can never use it. Right. And so as employees, you reach a point where one extra dollar of money is not as valuable as a day off. Right. It's right. just not as valuable. And so you reach this point where you start saying, you know what, I prefer to have flexibility or a paid day off or those types of benefits that I don't have to pay tax on and that give me lifestyle, not just more money. But if I was saying I'm going to go unlimited and crush it and own my lifestyle at the end, I'd be an entrepreneur, not an employee. Right. 